Okay, so um, we're going to learn how to create vases. So I'm going to go up here and rename my uh, vase here, vase number one. I'm going to show you different versions of different vases that you can create. Um, we're going to go create part studio. This is going to be the second version of the vase number two. And then the third version will be um, your vase. So right click, click on rename, and it's going to be my vase, whatever your vase is going to be. All right, so what you're going to do is um, go back to vase one, your first tab, go to the uh, isometric view, and I'm going to click on sketch, and I'm actually going to sketch on the front plane. So I'm going to click on the front plane, and I'm going to be go over to the front view, and then I'm going to start sketching my vase. So I'm going to grab the line tool up here, and I'm going to go over and then up, okay? And I'm going to hit check. I'm going to dimension my line. So let's say this, I want it to be about one inch. And then for this line, let's say I want it to be about two inches. Okay. So everything's nicely dimensioned. Then I'm going to use this function called offset. So if you look up here, it's called offset. Offset is just a way for it to create exactly replica of that line. And, um, and it, you know, makes it the same exact line. So in this case, I click offset, click the line I want to duplicate, and I'm going to hit enter. And they're going to ask me, well, how far do you want it to um, offset it? So I'm going to say about 2 16th of an inch. Okay. And I'm going to do the same. Offset is selected. I'm going to click on this line right here. And it's going to say, um, how, hit enter. How far do you want it to go? 2 16th of an inch. Okay. So now I'm going to hit escape to get out of this um, offset, I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm going to put my cursor over the number and drag this out just so it's nice and clean. Okay, so now you have these two lines right here that are intersecting. I'm gonna go up and grab the trim. I'm gonna trim this piece and this piece. Okay, so now it's one straight line. And then these two lines right here are not connected. So I'm gonna go up to my line and then connect this point to this point. And I'm going to go up here to this line and I'm going to connect from this point to this point. Okay, just so it's one solid shape. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. And now I'm going to draw something called construction line. So construction line is um, a line that's not part of the object. So I'm going to click line and then construction. So that makes a construction line. I'm going to draw it right here in the center just so it has something to rotate. And I'm going to hit escape click on my revolve. Okay. Um, actually you can accept the sketch here. I'm going to click on revolve, which is this little button right here. I'm going to click on, it says face and sketch regions to revolve. So I'm going to revolve this shape right here and revolve axis. So I have to actually click on the revolve axis and I'm going to click on that construction line that I made. Okay. And then that's how you make a simple vase. I'm going to accept that. And then because um, I don't want this to be rough, I'm going to go up and click on fill it. And I'm going to click on here and then here just to make it kind of rounder. So um, then that's how you get a, uh, a base, a perfectly made base. And there you go. There's your first version of your base. So we're going to do a second base. So we're going to go base number two. I'm going to do almost the same thing, but I'm going to do it a little bit freehand. So I'm going to go to sketch, go to my front plane, and I'm going to my front view. Click over to, um, I'm going to do my line first for the base of my vase. So click that, escape, and then what I'm going to do next is call the spline feature. So a vase, when you think of a vase, it's curvy, so I'm going to click this curve up this point right here and I'm going to click here and you can click however you would like okay so I want my base to be you know more curvy and then when I'm done I'm going to hit escape okay and it makes this curvy line then I'm going to go up to offset which is right here offset I'm going to offset this line okay and I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to make it maybe 2 16th of an inch you can make it bigger I'm going to offset this part right here. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter. And this is maybe two sixteen of an inch. Okay. And then wherever they meet, that's what I'm going to trim. So I'm going to go to the trim feature. 
trim this piece off, trim this piece off, and then they meet perfectly right here. Um, oh, I forgot to dimension the base of my base. So let's say if I want to go back and dimension this, I want this one inch. Okay, and it just updates it. That looks weird. Uh, well, maybe not. I think that looks good. Okay, and I'm going to go up to line, and I'm going to click this one and this one, and I'm going to close it up from here and here. Okay. So now I'm going to draw my construction line. So line construction all the way down on that line right there and then click on that. And then I'm going to accept my sketch, go to revolve, click on my, uh, my outline of my base, click on the revolve axis, click on the construction line, and you have a cool looking base. So now you can add um, fillet to it as well. So I'm going to go to fillet. I'm going to soften this edge right here. Um, maybe this right here so it doesn't cut people. And then, um, and then now you're going to create your own version of your base over here. Okay. And that's it. You are done with creating a base.